alphabetically the short films of the year. From Michelle Latimer comes Choke, a story of self-discovery that follows a young man who leaves his First Nations reserve and encounters lost souls along the way. When Darmy's father suddenly returns from Canada looking for help, it stirs up old wounds in Ian Harnerine's award-winning film, Doubles with Slight Pepper. The ravages of war, as witnessed by a nine-year-old boy, shape history in Igor Darliacha's short documentary, The Fuse or How I Burned Simon Bolivar. Par stanova u komšiluku su bili oštećeni, a jedan uništen. Pedro Pires's haunting hope takes audiences on a stunning and disturbing visual journey through a war zone. Recent prize winner at Whistler, Ryan Flowers and Lisa Pham's No Words Came Down invites audiences on a blind date with a couple who differ in age but are alike in loneliness. Hey, um, um, how are you today? Philip Baylock's spellbinding aura uses 3D thermal imaging technology to capture Jose Navas' contemporary dance choreography. Ashley McKenzie's acute and emotionally powerful Rhonda's party deals with a woman planning her best friend's 100th birthday celebration. I'm sorry, Rhonda, it's about Margaret. Margaret's no longer with us. Twins deal with their father's imminent death in different ways in Sophie Goyette's affecting and memorable, sorry, La Ronde. Arnaud Brisbois and Francis Leclerc's Trotteur tells a powerful tale of man versus machine and is truly one of the most visually arresting movies of the year. Andre Cividino's futuristic We Ate the Children Last adapts Jan Martel's story of drastic gastronomic measures and their fallout. I was dying of stomach cancer. And there you have it, the top 10 short films in 2011.